This video tutorial shows you how to use the e-commerce feature of websites.co.in and convert your websites that you have created at websites.co.in into an e-store that can accept payments from your users through different payment mediums like credit cards, debit cards, net banking and many other mediums. Okay, so I have logged into my dashboard and this is my website that's created on websites.co.in as I can see, this is not an e-commerce supported website yet. So I visit my web dashboard and I navigate to my store and settings. So over here, I enable e-commerce. And the moment I enable e-commerce and I check my website, you can see the shopping cart symbol appearing over here on the right hand top which means the e-commerce feature is enabled over here in the settings i see uh, various options the first thing is i can choose the currency i want so i'll keep inr as my currency the next thing is the taxes i can configure the taxes that i want so let's say in my case the tax that's applicable is gst and the percentage and let's say it's 18 percent and i click on save so well i've created a tax uh, i can create multiple taxes and the next thing is the payment option so i see uh, there are two options available at the moment uh, the first is the pay by check demand draft direct deposit and the second option is the pay by razor pay so in case you leave your options blank uh, these options will not show up in your website so razor pay is the option where you can you know uh, enable the uh, facility to uh, i mean you can uh, uh, using razor pay you can accept payments from your customers using credit card net banking and other mediums so uh, the prerequisite for setting up an e-store is that you'll have to sign up with Razorpay. So I'll just show you how do you obtain, once you have signed up, uh, how do you obtain the Razorpay API keys. So I'll visit Razorpay. So Razorpay is a payment gateway that you would require uh, to accept the payments. You need a merchant's account. So the first thing is you sign up. So in order to sign up, you'll require some basic details like your email ID, a bit of details about your business. Once you uh, fill up those basic details, you'll be able to sign up, sign in. So I'll just use my login details. And I'll, uh, I'll log into the dashboard of Razorpay. Once I log in, I'll see a series of options over here. So at the moment, since I haven't yet submitted my documents, this is my test account. So you'll have to uh, go through these steps in order to activate your account. So you can try out all these options. Once your account is activated, uh, all you have to do is visit the settings. And the API keys and click on generate test key so here you go you have your details configured and i'll just paste them out over here and click on save so once i have these details saved the razor pay option is enabled for me now i can uh, accept payments using credit card and the other such options okay in case i want to have my payments also accepted through check and you know demand draft or direct bank deposit i can uh, just fill up these details so let's say i just fill up for now
in case I have any international payments or you know payments coming from international customers, I would require the SWIFT code. In order to get the SWIFT code, you'll have to contact your bank. They'll help you out with that. let's say this is my swift code and this is the place where i can you know put some instructions that would be displayed to my users when they choose this option while making the payment so so i have successfully enabled both the payment options well next is the shipping so this is where i can uh, configure the units so let's say my weight unit is kilograms and my dimension unit is i would like to set it to inches so i just set them and i save it so this will help me with the shipping details i mean while configuring my shipping while calculating the shipping so I now move on to adding products. So let's say I just go about and add a category. And I click save. Let's say I now go ahead and create a product from store listings. So in case you already have existing products that uh, you have created before enabling the e-commerce that would yet work with the e-commerce option all you have to do is just check whether you have your uh, details like the inventory then the pricing and all correctly set and it should work. So let's say I have my first product as photo of the product <coughs> I choose my category uh, the currency that I've set in my settings will override the currency that's mentioned here so you can skip the currencies choosing from here uh, the pricing so currently the e-commerce option works only with the fixed price products so I just go ahead and set my price as 1 rupee, so 10 rupees and no discount for this product, let's say I have in stock 10 units and free shipping for this particular product and I just go ahead and publish this product. Well, I'll add one more product and Uh, I choose the category and then let's say the fixed price product and this product goes at 100 rupees and for this particular product I'll add a discount of 10% and it's in stock let's say I can have 10 units for this product and the shipping charges over here is 10 rupees and that's it i go ahead and publish the product so as you can see i have two products added now and if i visit my website and i refresh my pages so i can see those products listed here so 
So next I'll show how a customer on your site can make uh, can add these products, place an order and make the payment. So let's say your customer visits your website, he checks the product and in the first case I'll show you how to make the payment using the credit card option. So just go ahead and click add to cart. I see the product already added. Okay, I go ahead and view cart. So as you can see, the taxes are added, 18%. And since we didn't set any shipping charges for this product, so there is no shipping charge. So the total amount is 11.8. And I go ahead and place the order. So the user enters the details. In my case, I would like to have my shipping address and the billing address same. So I just let this be checked in case they are different. I can just uncheck this and I'll see a list of options. I mean, uh, the billing address also showing up here and I can configure a different billing address. So I can see two payment options available over here. The first one is the credit card, debit card, net banking option. And the other one is the pay by check demand draft and direct deposit so let's say in this case i go ahead and pay by the credit card so then i go click pay now so since it's a test mode i see this test symbol appearing here and so i just enter my card details And as you can see, I have a series of options here. The first one is pay by card. Then the net banking, I can choose from any of the banks. Then the wallet option, wherein I can pay using my free charge wallet, Ola Money, Pays app. And the other final option is the UPI QR code. So in this case, I'll go ahead and pay with the card and click on pay now. So since this is a test account, I have this option to choose success failure. So in this case, I'll just choose success and the order is successfully placed and I go continue shopping and I see my cart empty. I'll show you how to make a payment using a pay by check, demand draft or direct bank transfer option. So again, I go ahead and choose the product and so add this product and i go into my cart well as i can see those products uh, in the black t-shirt we didn't set any kind of shipping charge so it's zero and in the olive green t-shirt i had the shipping charges of 10 rupee so I see the shipping charges as well as the discount of 10 rupees and the tax calculated. So now I go ahead and place order. So this is my checkout page. I choose.
and I go ahead and choose pay by check option and I place the order so like you can see the payment details are visible in front of me and the instructions that I had set in the settings are also visible and I go ahead and continue shopping my order is placed so now coming back to my dashboard into the store and order section I see orders visible in my backend so let's say this is the option this is the first order that I have received so this is my order details page I can see all the billing details and the shipping details of my customer you can see the entire order summary the order details the items that are ordered and currently this status is marked as paid so the statuses that i change over here would be visible along with the timestamp so i have different statuses to choose from in case of you know the payment that has been received using uh, pay by check option then the status would be unpaid in case the payment has been failed from the payment gateway the status would be unpaid and once i acknowledge the receipt of the payment i can convert the status into uh, order placed and while i update the status i also have an option to send an email to the customer so when i click on update the customer receives a notification that your order has been placed or let's say you know if i deliver the i mean if i dispatch the order so let's say if i ship the order and if i send an email to the customer the customer will receive an email that the order has been shipped in case the customer requests for the cancellation of the order i can change the status to cancelled and all these uh, status changes are marked along with the timestamp so you know exactly uh, when uh, each of these events occurred so this is the e-commerce feature of uh, websites.co.in